Hey, YouTube listeners and watchers. I wanted to make another video here about one of my little wild engineering projects that I've done. This is my, uh, my sump pump in my house. And I made a little sump pump level gauge. Measures the liquid in my sump. You can see my sump pump here. And I actually have a, a water backup sump pump. Water powered sump pump, so to speak. That uh, is powered by the city water pressure. So when that... When that yellow float in there, which is above the trip level of the regular sump pump, so if the power fails, that yellow float rises, opens a valve, and then the city water pressure goes through this little chamber here and creates a vacuum. So for every one gallon of city water that flows through, it sucks out two gallons of water out of the sump. So when you lose power, chances are you don't lose city water pressure. Well, anyway, at the same time, I, I always wanted to be able to know what my sump pump level is remotely from my phone here. So I built this little device here. It's basically, if you look down in there, it's a toilet float that I got from Menards and a counterweight. So there's the counterweight right there. So there, those two spools basically are fishing line filler spools when you buy a new fishing line. And I've chosen not to reveal the encoder that I'm using here. I bought an encoder, which is a um, an incremental encoder that I've coupled to the shaft that these two that the uh, counterweight and um, toilet float is on. So as the liquid level rises in the sump, it turns the shaft on the incremental encoder. And then there's wires that's running back upstairs into my office, connected to my Raspberry Pi that pulls this, interprets the responses from the incremental encoder and converts it to a level. Okay, so this is basically part one. Um, I'll make another video here. This also goes along the lines of the uh, the sensors that I I've wired seven Dallas DSB1820 temperature sensors around my house. And there's one down here that tells me the uh, crawl space. I'm, I, I'm on a trial level, so this is the crawl space under the main level. And then the basement. There's a sensor in the other living space in the basement, too. But I thought it was kind of cool, you know. I mean, it's overkill, whatever. And I have a couple of other alarms on here. There's a water sensor alarm, and then you can see here's the, there's the float for the normal sump. There's the float for my gauge and the counterweight. And this big yellow ball is the float for the water power backup sump pump. Okay. And if you notice too, the strings are, this is just some nylon string. They're wrapped in different directions on these two spools, which I've glued together. And the counterweight is a series of washers. And you can actually see we've had so much rain. I see, you see the water coming up through the through the ground. The hydrostatic pressure of the water coming up. I get a lot of sediment in my in my sump. I have dual sumps. Actually, a lot of homes are set up for dual sumps. So this is the sump that connects to the, all the tiles around my house. And then that fills up and then it spills over into this one and then that's the pump. And I actually have a second pump, brand new, 
ready and waiting in case this one fails. But I also have the water power one. Okay, signing off.